Osmosis. Osmosis is the diffusion of water through a semi-permeable membrane from a low concentration of a solute to a high concentration of a solute. It is a type of passive transport. It involves diffusion, which we talked about earlier, and it does not involve any transport membranes since water can freely pass through the membrane, the phospholipid bilayer to be specific. So is ATP required? Absolutely not. When water moves through a semi-permeable membrane, it does it without the need of ATP, without the need of energy. And what's the concentration gradient like? What should we picture in our minds when we think of osmosis? Well, in this picture, red represents water. And these large blue molecules, let's say they represent glucose. Glucose cannot freely pass through the semi-permeable membrane without some help. So let's say they remain relatively stable on this side of the, of the cell. And on this side of the cell, they remain here. They do not pass back and forth. But what is passing back and forth? Well, water will generally move dynamically through this semi-permeable membrane back and forth. But the net movement, the net movements will draw a larger arrow to the left, is going to be in a direction from where there is a low solute concentration to where there is a high solute concentration. After several minutes of this cell maybe being um, in place with these solute concentrations differentiating on the left and right, your, your capsule here might start to look like there is a lot more water to balance out the solute concentration on the left and a lot less to make the solute concentrations and the areas of concentration of water equal. This is producing what we call equilibrium. Okay? When we think of equilibrium, definitely think of balance. And another word we like to think of when we think of balance is homeostasis.